obviously, you know, we were just sitting here last night asking you about you know, the fourth quarter and how you guys kind of built too big of a hole to climb out of. But today you guys had, it looked like defensive focus for the most part throughout. And then your fourth quarter put you guys over the top. What allowed you, I guess, to you know, kind of get in your rhythm again for a second straight night like that? Yeah, I think we just limit our turnovers and uh, we capitalize on their mistakes and we just stay poised. We talked about it yesterday as well. It seems like 18 hours ago, 20 hours ago or something like that. Uh, it's just about doing the little things. You know, when guys diving on the floor, we're taking charges. That makes a, a world of difference for our team um, and just our preparation. Uh, you know, I'm just keep hammering, on, hammering home on these, on these uh, times that we get together as a team and we um, need to come back and, and settle in. So I felt like we did that tonight. Uh, obviously, I made a few more shots than I did <laughs> in the past few games. Uh, that makes a difference, but I feel like we just played poised down the stretch and doing the little things throughout the game. Uh, we earned this win. Those little things get you going as well. I mean, you have 11 boards. I remember you taking two blocks. I mean, not two blocks. One charge, charge, yeah. I think in the first quarter. Yeah, no, I, I talked about it yesterday. Uh, just getting out of my own way and, and uh, really thinking team first. and. Um, you know, put my body on the line and, and leading by example. Um, you know, it's, it's one heck of a thing when you could be one of the great scorers and, and obviously you play well on the offensive end, but uh, when I could get it going on the defensive end and do the little things, it, it really, really makes a difference for me and I'm, I'm dialed in, so uh, it felt good tonight. Kyrie, obviously you've done a, a lot in your career, but what is it like when you're in that kind of zone late in the game, knowing that when you put it up, it's probably going in? Man, every night I, I try to put myself in that in that place in that zone, uh, specifically in the fourth quarter when it's winning time. Um, but I, I just think the way we started off the game uh, really made a difference tonight. Um, and then when the way we finished, uh, I felt like we grew as a squad. Uh, I trusted Seth in that corner three. Uh, there was a few possessions uh, where we just got a good shot attempt up, and that and that uh, carried us through tonight. So I'm proud of the guys. Uh, obviously, it's one win, but when you're on a, a bit of a losing streak, you know any, everything could feel exacerbated. Everything could feel like it's pressure. But um, I, I feel like we're rising to the to the challenge, um, and tonight we proved it on the road. Where are you going off that mean? Probably an unrealistic expectation to drop 50 each night going forward. So Kevin comes back. I don't think it's an un unrealistic expectation, but go ahead. Okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> just what, what can you guys take with you as a group from tonight, given, given that it's probably not realistic to lean up to, for you to have a night like this every night? Yeah. I I just, with no offense, obviously. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I appreciate that. Uh, just guys playing with confidence and it not wavering. Um, you know, we talked about it yesterday, but now isn't the time for anybody's approach to change. Um, you just got to do the little things to prepare, you know, just lifting on, on your extra time, on your downtime, getting extra shots up and just staying ready when your number's called. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the identity of our group, and we just got to keep it up. You mentioned several times how much trust you have in the other guys. Seth hit a couple of shots. Mm -hmm. I, I know how much faith you have in the group. Late in that game, was there a thought of, hey, I just need to, to take over a little bit and hit these shots and, and lift us up when we need it. Yeah, uh, I have the trust from Jock uh, to be able to make plays down the stretch. And, um, you know, he comes to me and, and we talk about it. And I think we've been able to develop a dialogue that, uh, you know, it, it continues to grow game to game. Um, you know, so it it gives me a lot of confidence, you know, in the fourth quarter to be able to perform that way. Uh, and my teammates looking to me as well. Um, and when the ball's feeling good in my hands, um, you know, still want to get a great shot. Um, that's better for our team. You said many times it's never a one-on-one -on -one matchup in any game that you're playing. Mm -hmm. Having said that, Sunday is the Warriors. You get to play against Steph. How much do you enjoy the challenge that he brings uh, from from you through the years? Yeah, I mean, I could load up on a bunch of superlatives for Steph, um, you know, how much we match up and how much I enjoy that. Um, but it's a it's a team uh, attitude that I'm having coming in Sunday, and that's really the foundation of of us growing throughout this process right now as we're in, as, you know, me getting out of my own way and, um, you know, allowing the other guys to help and taking this journey day by day. So the ups and downs are going to come and go. Um, but we just have to stay poised and stay consistent, and, and it starts with me um, showing up every day and leading by example 
and just putting my body on the line and, and doing whatever it takes to win. So, feels good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> Appreciate you.